Diet is just one excuse that people use when it comes to their fitness regime. Another is, well, I'm not losing weight easily because I have a slow metabolism. Or you're skinny because you have a high metabolism. Well, David uh, Sisko is our personal trainer here at This Morning Live, and he's here today to sort of talk about what exactly is metabolism and how we can no longer use that as an excuse. Thanks for coming in, David. Thanks for having you me. You were telling me a saying that you really like. Yeah, well, I think it's true, and I think people have to get used to the fact that you are not a victim of your metabolism. You're the creator. And people really have to understand that that's just a fact. When you see somebody who's obese, it's not like they don't have a lifestyle that supports that look in as much as when you see somebody with the look of an Olympic athlete, they also have a lifestyle that supports that look. All right, so let's talk about, first of all, what is your basal metabolic rate? Right, when it comes to metabolism, it's not metabolisms, but rather it's metabolisms. Uh, there's many of them. Every entity in your body has its own metabolism. And there are things that we can do, and we're going to look at this, at what we can do to speed up certain elements of our metabolism. All right, so we're taking a look at a chart now. Right, the basal metabolic rate, now this is just how many calories your body expends throughout the course of the day just to exist, that is in the state of a coma, if you will, okay. really doing nothing. And the next strip reveals what's called the resting metabolic rate. Now, resting metabolic rate is just what you and I are doing right now. We're, we're existing, but we're not exactly in the state of a coma. But we're right. not doing much more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but now, if you want to elevate these two particular parts of your metabolism, what you want to do then is exercise, but in particular with weights, because that will add lean muscle tissue to your body, and as a result, both of these metabolisms will then be elevated. All right, we're going to take people through the steps. Like, for example, you've got on this list fidgeting. Even yes. th that alone could increase your metabolic yeah, rate. Fidgeting is, is, you know, for people who just never stand still, they're always going, you know, also known as teenagers. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know, this is a category that at the end of the day, it really does make a huge difference. And then when you look at the next category, after fidgeting, it would be, I believe, digestion. That's right. Okay, now digestion, this is interesting. Because most people who want to lose weight say to themselves, okay, I need to lose weight, therefore I must eat less food and eat less frequently. Mm -hmm. But the reality is you're going to slow down that part of your metabolism. And what we want to do is encourage people to speed up all of their metabolisms. So you're far better off eating smaller meals more frequently throughout the day. And your general rule for that is not less than two and a half hours, not more than three hours Exactly. Your well, you know, you look at the birth of a child, nature tells us, feed this animal frequently, mm -hmm. and yet we try to get ourselves somehow onto a two or three day a meal plan. Not such a good... You know, it makes a lot of sense. The next thing is your daily activities. These are things that we can do right. to Right, daily increase. activities really would explain why it is that in North America versus Europeans, why it is that we're gaining weight so much more. Europeans are far more active throughout the course of the day. And daily activity simply means the amount of calories you would expend just doing things that are not including planned exercise. So walking about and what have you, taking your shower, shopping, what have you. But Europeans are typically far more active they throughout the day. They walk to the market, right. they walk to the grocery store. Than we store. are. So that it really can account, depending on your lifestyle, for a lot at the end of the day. So these are just simple things we can include uh, in our life. These are simple things. All right, the next one is exercise, and this is where you would emphasize weight training. Yeah, e exercise is a huge part of the category here because the interesting thing when it comes to exercise is basically two things you can look at. You can look at cardiovascular exercise, or you can look at general exercise, including weight training and moving about. Now the interesting thing is a lot of people who have done cardiovascular exercise will look at the treadmill or whatever machine they're on and see how many calories they burn. Mm -hmm. What they don't know is that the category after exercise is called glycogen. And that is, this is your body still burning calories after exercise. So what happens is that your muscle metabolism remains elevated mm -hmm. from the exercise you did. So even though the machine may say 300 calories, your body continues to burn calories. Even more so if you're using You could weights. even take a shower after you're done, walk out of that shower and still be sweating. Why? Because your metabolism is still racing. From cardiovascular exercise, it will take 20 to 60 minutes for your muscle metabolism to return back to normal. And here's what's interesting. From weight training, in, um, assuming it's the same type of intensity, it will take 24 to 72 hours wow. before your metabolism returns to normal, which is why weight training really ought to be paramount. So does that mean that any exercise you do in that 72-hour period after you've lift weights, you're going to, it's going to be even more effective for well, that's, your overall Well, weight. that's that's the concept when it comes to weight training that you want to make sure you're always training different muscle groups. Okay. Because there is that possibility that that 24 to 72 hours, that recuperation zone, that those particular muscles have not recuperated. So you allow them adequate time to do that and you work other muscle groups in the process. You know, you make it sound so simple, David. Oh, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much, Jeff, for coming in. No more excuse. No more blaming your metabolism. That's right. Though I do think I have a slow one. Oh, All stop right, it. so <laughs> more right now. It's minus 16. We're